Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Don from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And the next time you need a part for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace a rear power window regulator on this uh, 2006 Chevy Impala, pretty much the same for any 2006 to 2012. And the regulator, usually what happens is you'll hear kind of a popping and then a grinding noise, and obviously your window stops working. Um, and you know it's your regulator if you can grab the window and pull it up and down some. We'll be showing you how to do the driver's side rear. The passenger side rear is the same procedure. You'll need a new window regulator from 1AAuto.com, flat blade screwdriver, 7 and 10 millimeter socket with a ratchet and extension, and needle nose pliers, and a T30 Torx driver. And start, there are three trim panels. There's one right in behind the door. You just use a small flat blade screwdriver and pry out the little trim panel. Uh, there's also a panel right in the door pull area, just kind of rubber. It pulls right up and then there's a small trim panel down in the, near the rear of the door. Pull that out. The T30 screw behind the door handle, two in the door pull cup, and a seven millimeter um, bolt right back in there. I'm going to speed up here as I remove those three T30 screws and the seven millimeter screw. Use your flat blade screwdriver again and carefully pull the little triangle piece of trim at the top off. Then using, uh, better to use like a, a putty knife or even a door panel clip tool if you have one to pry out on the door panel and you'll release some clips. Um, once they pop, they come off and then you'll need to lift the door panel up and go in behind. Once you get it up off the door sill, go in behind the cable snaps in, you just need to squeeze a couple tabs with some pliers and pull the cable back and out and then the ball right up out of the socket. Uh, the lock switch, if you just pry on the tabs a little bit or you could disconnect the harness but bring that out and the door panels off. Carefully remove the water shield. Uh, you want to be careful not to rip it because you do want to reuse it again and it provides a vital function of keeping water uh, outside of your vehicle. Now if your uh, regulator's gone bad, this is usually the point where you can kind of start seeing the problem. Generally what happens with these window regulators is the cable um, snaps in some way and you'll hear a popping noise and then kind of a grinding of the motor but the window won't move really move anywhere and what you'll find is basically you can kind of grab onto the window and um, pull it up or push it down at will and so what you want to do is pull the window up or push it down until you can get to these two bolts they're 10 millimeter right here and I'm going to fast forward as we remove those two bolts they're removed you can pull the window up from the window regulator and then put it up top and secure it with some tape just so it doesn't fall down while you're working. Disconnect the window regulator from the power window motor. You can use a small screwdriver if it helps to pry the tab. There are six bolts 10 millimeter that hold the window regulator rail and motor on and I'll fast forward uh, only one of the bolts that you actually have to remove uh, most of them you can just loosen and then you can slide the rail and the window motor up and pull the bolts through the door okay the new regulator from 1A Auto on the right and the original one on the left, they're exactly the same. Um, the connectors are going to be the same. We'll want to transfer the bolts that are in the original regulator over to the new uh, regulator so that it's ready to be installed. And then re reinstalling the new regulator is basically a reverse of the procedure. Put it in the door and line up the bolts 
um, and you can see here we have to just kind of loosen up a couple of the bolts a little bit later in the clip um, to get the thing to go down in. We'll fast forward as we install that one bolt and then tighten up the rest of them. Reconnect the harness and then we're going to use a plastic wire tie just to secure since the replacement regulator has that pigtail on it. We just want to secure it in there so that pigtail doesn't have a chance to get caught up with the window when it's going up and down. We'll secure it with a wire tie and then cut the extra off. Now we can untape the window and slide it down carefully to line up with the regulator. Fast forward as we insert those two 10 millimeter bolts that hold the regulator to the window and tighten those up and put your water shield back in place. Reinstall the door panel, bring the door panel close uh, to the door and put the ball and socket from the door latch cable back in, snap the cable back into its bracket and then put the lock switch back in place. Okay, the top of the door panel goes on to the window ledge and then there are a series of pins that hold the door panel onto the door. So first we'll get the door panel up and secured onto the window ledge. And pretty much once you do that, it's lined up. You can just tap it down and then the pins should be lined right up. Just a firm fist to set those. And we'll fast forward as we put the four screws. Again, the one seven millimeter goes in the back of the door two T30s down in the door pull cup and a T30 in behind the door handle. And then finish it off by putting the trim panels back on. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll-free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.